This IX developer tutorial will cover how alarms are configured and managed. Start by clicking on the alarm server in the Project Explorer. Click on the Alarm Groups tab and add a new group. You can change the colors for every alarm state. In this case, the active color is changed to light blue. Select the Alarms Item tab, then select the Add button. Type in the alarm text Low pH Step 3. Select the tag that triggers the alarm and the event condition that will activate it. Select the second group and add an additional alarm. Click on the ellipsis button. This enables us to embed dynamic tag values to the alarm text. Click on Insert Dynamic Text Item to add a tag connection. Then select the tag that should be used. Select the tag that should be monitored for that alarm and finally the condition and trigger value. In this case, the alarm will be triggered when the tag is greater than 85. In order to present the alarms to the operator, an alarm viewer object needs to be added to the screen. Select the alarm viewer and add it to the screen. We increase the font size slightly so it's easier to read. In the General Ribbon tab, we can configure the alarm viewer. You are able to define which buttons the end user can access. You are also able to choose where the buttons are located. By clicking on Configure Columns, you can define the specific alarm information you wish to display. Columns are added or removed by clicking the arrow buttons. We can also define the width of each column. This ensures that your alarm information can fit in each column. Let's simulate the application. Click on the green Run button in order to start the simulation. The first alarm is generated when the low pH warning tag is set. The second alarm is generated when the tag Tank Level 1 is greater than 85. By jumping to a screen with Alarm Viewer object, the operator can see the alarm history as well as acknowledge the alarms. The green alarm bell indicates that alarms are acknowledged, but the conditions that triggered the alarms are still active. When low pH warning is reset and the tank level is below 85, the alarm bell will disappear. The alarms are still available in the alarm history, but the state is now normal. If you do not wish to display the alarm bell indicator or only want it to show during certain alarm states, such as active, you can configure that in the alarm server settings.